Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can revert back to one of the versions while editing with Elementor inside your WordPress website. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So in my case, I already have here the Elementor web page builder open up where I've edited the flex scroll flex string tutorial and if you haven't seen it it will be popping up right now on your screen but so far i have made some changes here on this page and let's say i want to revert back to what i was doing or what i set it up in the beginning so what you want to do is head over to the left bottom hand corner of your screen right over here until you see this icon where it's like an arrow which circles back and looks like a clock and when you hover it you will see a tooltip that says history so you want to click it and under the actions because it's a brand new edit i won't see any changes because i haven't made any but if we'll go to the revisions, here you'll be able to see all the revisions or all the changes that I've made and when I made them and by who they are made. So it was me two days ago, May 24th on 1151. As you can see here, revision by and the user and the number of the revision. So let's say I want to revert back to May 18th. So just click it and then it will load here and you'll be able to see here that all what I've made now, all the changes at the bottom here would be erased. And in that way, you can just revert back a few steps or some big steps while editing with the lament. Meaning if there is something that you made by a mistake and you want to revert back like a few days ago or you've implemented a new plugin or you've inserted a new widget and some things didn't go quite the way you wanted it, this revision option would allow you to revert back to when things was good and then start from there. You can call it like going back in time as we know the old movie, but here Elementor gives you the possibility to revert back in time in your edit and the same thing would go if I'll scroll a little bit to the top here and I want to go for example two days ago on May 24th on 12 oh one and i want to see what happened there as you can see here i have it back here but i don't have all the sections if i'll go to my current version over here one day ago on may 25th we'll be able to see here that i have one more section right at the bottom here and this is how you'll be able to use the revisions under the history and revert back to the version that you wanted it now the other thing here if you'll go to actions you'll be able to see all the changes that you've made for example let's head over and click refresh and now let's say I want to change some of the things here for example let's change one of the boxes let's change it to space of 250 pixels and then if I'll go to my history I'll be able to see all the actions and each on every edit that I've made I've added the spacer and we'll be able to see that over here let's say I want to add a heading so I'll head over to my widgets and then I'll add a heading just on top of it and then we'll be able to see again inside the history that I've added a heading and the same way you can do here as in the revisions the same thing would apply in the actions for example I want to revert back and I just want to go back to the time where I haven't made any changes so you want to head over to the editing started and we'll be able to see that everything was reverted back yes of course you can put over and revert it back over here and then just delete it manually over here by right clicking it and then just deleting the element that you've added but this is one more step that you can apply either the actions or the revisions and this is what I wanted to show you in this video. I really hope this video helped you. And if it did, I'd be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any tutorial that I post on Elementor, WooCommerce, and WordPress. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.